All right, hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Um, we love to share tips and tricks with all Airbnb hosts, especially ones that can help save them a ton of time and get them more bookings. And today is no exception. Our topic today is how to clean and turn over your Airbnb with ease. It's presented by Kyle from Handy.com. And Kyle's an associate director of new services over at Handy.com. Today he's going to discuss his top tips for how to clean your Airbnb rental unit, how to quickly prepare your guests and wow them at the same time, and how to automate and manage your Airbnb's turnover with Handy, the premier source for Airbnb cleaning. First things first, viewers, we're gonna cover a lot today. So if you have any questions during the presentation, you can email them to us at info at learnairbnb.com and you can see the email on the screen right there. So let's get into it. Many of you have already heard, but Handy is now the an official service provider for Airbnb. Uh, some of you may even notice it's built right into the back end of your Airbnb dashboard. Handy is in many major markets all around the US and is even growing its presence internationally in London and beyond. Today we get to sit down with Kyle and chat about all things related to Airbnb cleaning and turnovers. So live listeners, stick around to end of Kyle's presentation. He has a very special offer for you. So without further delay, I'd like to uh, turn everything over to Kyle. So Kyle, why don't you please teach us all the tips for keeping your Airbnb rentals cleanliness, cleanliness on the up and up. Thanks so much, Jim. I really appreciate the time. Uh, I'm happy to be here. Uh, so if everyone can see my screen, um, today we're going to walk you through cleaning and guest preparation. Uh, we're talking about cleaning specifically, but really holistic preparation of your Airbnb listing for your space. Uh, it's going to be about 10 to 15 minutes, so get comfy. Uh, and like Jim said, we're going to walk through uh, a bunch of tips and tricks that we've learned over the course of the past two years cleaning for Airbnb listings. And at the end, I'm happy to take all of your questions and provide as much knowledge as I can to help you prepare your own spaces. So getting right into it, uh, cleaning is, is tremendously important uh, for two reasons. One, obviously you want to make sure that your guests uh, come to a clean space, that they enjoy their stay with you. Uh, and two, having good guest reviews in terms of cleanliness also leads to more bookings, more revenue, and being a more successful host. Uh, Airbnb notes it themselves that listings with a five-star cleanliness rating receive 20% more bookings on average than those with four stars or below. So it's not only important to ensure that your guests have a good, good stay, but it's also important to make sure that you're successful on the Airbnb platform by having your listing clean. And like I said before, it's not just cleaning in the traditional sense of cleaning. It's one, making a hotel style clean, so actually wiping down surfaces and that sort of thing. But two, it's also making sure that your guests have fresh linens and towels. So providing fresh sheets, fresh towels in the bathroom, et cetera. Uh, you're really trying to create a hotel-like experience in your own home, in your own listing. And so things like standard amenities, such as toilet paper, paper towels, soaps and shampoos, those are important as well. And finally, uh, Airbnb is all about experiences. Uh, people can stay in a hotel if they like, but part of the excitement and the uh, enthusiasm around Airbnb is that you get the opportunity to stay as a local. Uh, and so, while your guests are staying there, it's important that you give them some, some personal uh, leave behind, that they can remember their stay with you, that it's memorable because you've done something special that's personal to your listing, yourself, your city, something like that. So a personal touch is also part of the program. Uh, so just digging right into each of those four top areas of, of uh, preparation, again, you want to make sure that your listing is thoroughly cleaned. It's not enough to kind of wipe down the counters, put the dishes in the dishwasher and call it a day. Um, you need to clean with the purpose in mind of wiping away any remnants of a previous stay, making sure that when the new guests arrive, there's nothing left behind that would uh, connote that a guest had just stayed there. So cleaning should involve all the things that I have listed on this slide here. It's cleaning the floors, it's dusting the furniture and fixtures, wiping down all the surfaces, including countertops, mirrors, and knobs. Sanitization of your bathroom, right? When you go into a hotel, they have the cardboard wrapper on the toilet, which tells you that this toilet has been sanitized. You want to get to that level of cleanliness so that your guests are comfortable. Uh, in addition, unlike a hotel, you have your own refrigerator. You know, you might be living in the listing, or you might be um, renting out a space where guests can bring their food in and out. And so you want to make sure that you're taking out 
the food that the previous guests have left in there. Um, whether they had Chinese takeout the night before or they brought some uh, beverages, if anything's opened, you want to remove that. You want it to feel like this is the guest space, this is my space, and nothing was left from previous guests. Um, and finally, one of the things that we've come to learn uh, is that special attention should really be, be paid to the removal of hair. Uh, hair from previous guests, if you live with uh, a female, gets in the bathtub, gets on the countertops, gets on the floors. Uh, if there were any pets, the hair can kind of uh, accumulate on all surfaces. So you really want to pay special attention to that. And think about it like this. If you, got, if you were staying in a hotel and you were jumping into bed that night and you saw hairs on the sheets, you would kind of be grossed out. Uh, and in a hotel, when something goes wrong, it's nice that you know you can call concierge and they'll move you to another available room. When you're on Airbnb, you don't want your guests to be upset with the state of the listing and the cleanliness because they don't, you know, the guests, the host can't really easily move you to another listing. Uh, and so it's important that you ensure that your listing is thoroughly clean before guests arrive. So moving on to the next piece is ensuring that your guests are comfortable while they're staying in your listing. Uh, and just like a hotel, you know, your guests are going to spend the majority of their time, if they're traveling, they're outside the apartment, um, they're outside the listing, they're uh, sightseeing, they're going to shows, what have you. It's the majority of their day is spent outside the listing. But while they are in your listing, they're typically not lounging. They're either sleeping or they're getting ready to go out. Uh, and so given that the majority of the time spent within your listing is sleeping, fresh sheets and linens in general are very important to the comfort of your guests. Um, in terms of linens, what should you provide? Linens is a holistic term uh, for basically sheets and towels. What are you making up your bed with and what are your guests cleaning themselves with? Uh, and so a bed should be, uh, linens for a bed should include a number of items. Um, the basic item, obviously, you want a flat sheet that the guests can sleep on. You want pillowcases. We always suggest four, uh, just making sure that all the pillows are covered. Uh, then you have a fitted sheet that goes over the flat sheet. And finally, you have a duvet cover. So if you have a blanket or anything there, um, people often get skeeved out by uh, the comforters in a hotel. They don't think that they're washed properly and often. And so covering whatever blanket that you have with a duvet cover will eliminate all of that concern. In terms of the towels, you at least want to provide bath towels and hand towels. So bath towels are those large towels that the guests are going to wash themselves with, dry themselves after the shower with. Uh, and hand towels are what they can use when they're cleaning their face before they go to bed uh, or wiping their hands. Um, additionally, you can provide two other types of towels, one being a washcloth that the guests can use in the shower or in the bathtub, and two, uh, a bath mat. So if you've walked into a hotel, you'll see that oftentimes the staff will lay out a towel on the floor for you so that you don't slip when you get out of the shower. So those two are optional, but also very nice to have. Uh, one of our pro tips in terms of selecting linens is that you want to use the white linens. And we can uh, relate this to a ki professional kitchen. The chef, uh, and, and, and in the medical field as well, chefs and doctors, they're wearing white. They want to show you that their space is sanitary, their space is, is clean. Uh, and that kind of provides comfort to the guests that they know. Nothing's hidden on these linens. There's no stains that I don't see. White is white, and nothing's dirty here. Uh, just like a hotel, and I, I'm going to make a lot of these hotel references because that's kind of what you're trying to do. You're trying to make a space that your guests can stay in while they're traveling, uh, and you want to provide the same uh, level of comfort. So you want to make standard amenities available to your guests. And this is, I have a picture here of uh, soaps and shampoos. You definitely want to provide some sort of toiletries for your guests. Um, just like when you're traveling to a hotel, you typically expect that the place that you're staying will have at least uh, shampoo and a soap that you can use. Some other nice ones are a separate hand wash, uh, soap, or and a conditioner. Uh, additionally, your guests don't expect that they're going to need to bring their own toilet paper or paper towels. So that's something that you want to keep stocked and make sure is available, as well as make sure your guests know where they can get more of those items. So if they're under the cabinet within the sink, leave them a note or in your house rules that you're listing on Airbnb, provide those uh, kind of clues so that the guests know where to go when they run out. Um, something else that you want to think about when, when hosting guests is giving them uh, clothing storage. So particularly if it's a longer stay, you want the guests to have a space where they can um, keep their items, uh, unpack their suitcase, 
hang their clothes up so that they're not wrinkled, etc. And so in terms of clothing storage, you not only want drawer space to put folded items, but you also want some hanging space. So for instance, if a lady is bringing a dress, she might want to hang that up and get it out of her bag immediately so that it's not wrinkled for when she needs to wear it. Same thing for a male with a suit. Uh, and finally, you want to provide some room for the guests to uh, store their own food. Again, if it's a longer stay, they might have gone out to a couple restaurants and wanted to bring back in uh, you know, leftovers or a doggy bag. They want some place to put that. Uh, and some a nice optional item is cooking equipment. Uh, if you say it's okay for your guests to cook, you'll want to leave them some equipment that they can use to do so. So that's your standard pots, pans, um, spatulas, etc. Uh, and if you're going to do so, let make sure your guests know where they can find those items. Finally, like I said before, it's all about experiences. And guests are going to leave you a good review and remember their stay with you if there was something personal about it. They want to stay like a local. They want to see how you live and how pe residents of a city interact with that city. And so the more you can make their experience unique, the more they're going to remember it and the more likely they are to leave you a review. So what we've seen with other guests in the past, or other hosts in the past, is that they'll leave something particular to their region. You know, in California, somebody might leave you a bottle of wine from Napa Valley. Um, if you're in New York, you might want to leave like best, uh, a list of best local attractions in your area of the neighborhood, whether that's Little Italy, Hell's Kitchen, what have you. Um, you can leave a souvenir, uh, so something small. It doesn't have to be anything big. Something small that represents your city or you or their stay in general. Um, what's also really nice is if you're there uh, at the, when the guests arrive, it's nice to give them a personal tour of the neighborhood. Say, you know, point out a couple, you know, it doesn't have to be long, 20 minutes, say, you know, this is the closest deli, this is the closest pharmacy, um, this is where you should go for that, that's a great restaurant, etc. So whatever you can do to make the guests stay memorable, the better. And again, good reviews lead to more bookings, lead to more revenue and more success on Airbnb. So those are a lot of high-level tips that we've learned doing Airbnb cleanings for the past two years. I wanted to tell uh, the audience here a little bit about Handy and what we do, and then I'm happy to answer questions at the, at the end of the webinar. So I work for Handy. I'm an associate director here uh, for new services. Our bread and butter is home cleaning, but we also offer other home services, including handyman, electrical, plumbing, and one of these recent categories, which is hospitality services in general, like I'm talking about for Airbnb hosts. So we're here at handy.com. We also have a mobile app if you download it for iOS and Android. And we really have become the leader in on-demand home services. In particular, for this focus, we've made it very easy to manage your listing effortlessly. We've made things, we've put things in place so that you don't have to be there at your listing to make sure things go smoothly. We've solved a lot of the issues and frictions of getting a cleaner to your space when you need it with product, and we're really proud of the product that we've built. So today, you can go to handy.com slash host and kind of play around and see what we have to offer Airbnb hosts. Today, I'm proud to announce that we have more than 10,000 cleaning and home improvement professionals on our platform. All of these professionals are background checked, have six or more years of experience, and are highly rated. We're proud to say that the cleaners that perform cleanings for Airbnb hosts all have, or on average, have a rating of 9.4 out of 10 or higher. So we re we're really strict and stringent on the, on the quality of cleaning. Uh, and we know that the repercussions of a cleaning going wrong for an Airbnb host can be large. You know, guests can come to the listing, be upset, and leave. And then the host is losing out on all that revenue that they would have made. And so we're very uh, thorough in our vetting process and making sure that the cleaners who are on our platform who are doing these cleanings maintain a high rating so that there's no quality issues for the host. We want everything to go smoothly for you. Right now, we're live in over 30 major worldwide uh, population centers. If you think about the US, we're in all the big cities, just to name a couple, New York, Chicago, Boston, San Francisco, LA, Houston, Dallas, Seattle, pretty much any major city you can think of, we're in it. And then we're also, we've recently expanded internationally. So we service Vancouver and Toronto and Canada, uh, and we're live in London in the UK. So right now, like I said, through handy.com slash host, you guys can effortlessly book not only cleaning, but linen and key management services. So I wanted to take a couple moments to talk about our specific services related to hosts. 
obviously, you know, we have home cleaning, um, and it's a very tailored cleaning, like a hotel style cleaning. All of the tips and tricks which I mentioned are things that the cleaners are going to look out for when they're cleaning your listing. Um, in, in addition, we also want to make sure that your guests have fresh linens, right? And we give you options. If you have a washer or dryer in your home, in your building, we will gladly wash your own sheets if you'd like to provide those. In addition, we also provide linen rental. So if you don't have your own set of sheets or you're hosting just a couple times a year and you don't want to invest in your own linens, you can rent our linens for a period of two weeks at a time and we'll swap them out between cleanings. All of the items that I mentioned before are included in our linen sets. They're hotel quality, they're white, they're pressed, and they look fabulous. In addition, we make it easy to manage access for your cleaner. We have a bunch of hosts on our platform who don't even live in the same city in which they host, and they use us as their pretty much their property manager. Uh, and so they're not home. They can't let the cleaner in. And given that the reservations of your guests are not regular, it's not like a guest is arriving every Thursday at 12 p.m., we can't uh, specifically set up a, a single cleaner on your, on your account. But what we can do is let you request pros and provide easy access. So the way that we do that is uh, threefold. We can ship you a free lockbox. These are quality lockboxes that are uh, suited for exterior use. You can latch them onto your fence, your doorknob itself. They work well when you're not in a high rise. Uh, typically, a high rise presents a problem, given that there's a front door key and there's not really anywhere to attach it. But if you're in a brownstone, if you're in your own home, lockboxes work well. Second, we've built a unique system which we call Key Courier. So we'll pick up a copy of your key, we'll bring it to a secure storage location in our faci facility in our cities, and we will put that key in basically, uh, if you think of a car valet, a valet type system. Then before you're cleaning, we'll have one of our couriers meet your cleaner to unlock the door and bring the key back uh, immediately to the facility. So we're providing your cleaner access without you ever having to hand off the key. Third, you don't see it here in, in the uh, image, but we also have integration with keycafe.com. We really like this company. They provide a really seamless solution to provide access for your cleaner and yourself. Uh, and if you set up uh, your key at keycafe.com, they have locations and cafes in many cities across the US, Canada, and London. You set your key there, you give access to the handy for your key, and when our cleaners have your bookings, they'll stop by the cafe to grab the key ahead of time. And of course, you can be home, you can provide us instructions if you want to keep the key uh, at the deli, uh, you know, on the same block, that's fine as well. So we provide a lot of options to manage it remotely. Uh, we're really excited, we've rolled out this to all 27 uh, of our US cities, and now in Canada and London. It's all live, it's ready for you to book at handy.com slash host. And I'm proud to announce and happy to announce that for this audience today uh, of Learn Airbnb, we are giving your first two-hour cleaning for only $29. If you use the promo code LEARN29 at checkout on handy.com slash host, you'll get your first two-hour cleaning for $29. Just to give you a little insight into our pricing, in the US and Canada, we price at $27 per hour, so that's almost 50% off. And in London, it's 15 pounds per hour. Uh, so take advantage of this deal. It's not going to last forever. Head on over to handy.com slash host after this webinar and use code LEARN29 to get your first two-hour cleaning for only $29. That's all I have, Jim. Back to you. All right. Well, Kyle, that was like fantastic. A lot of good little tips, especially the tip about having all white um, all white sheets. You know, most people overlook that they want to have something fly and flashy, but when you have patterns in different colors, it's very easy to spot um, you know, the stains, and it stands out pretty hard. Um, and the in the offer, you know, handy.com/host and uh, the code learn29. Take advantage of that offer, please. Um, and I already think I can be more productive with the tips you gave us. So I'm excited to jump into the Q and A. We have a few questions uh, coming in right now. Um, and last week, we also spoke with Evan Kimbrell, and he talked about the personalized gifts as well. Is that something that, um, say, we store them away into, um, into like the maybe the, the the closet or the locked away? Is there a way that you can kind of pull those out as we get them prepped? Say we prep like 10, 10 different gift sets. Is that something that, you, that the 
cleaners can pull out and drop off for you or how do you deal with the gifts? Absolutely. Yeah, that's exactly what people will do. So they'll store a number of items and they'll say in their notes, you can provide very clear notes to your professional, you know, please leave this um, uh, for the guests, you know, or I like to leave a bottle of wine on the entryway table. So our cleaners are very used to it. Anything within reason, just type it in your notes to your pro and they'll take care of it for you. Cool. That's, that's uh, very convenient. So audience members, if you have any questions, you can email them to us at info at learnairbnb.com and we'll get those answered for you today. And if you're watching a replay, please also send your questions in. We will we make sure to get all those answered uh, to the best of our ability. But let's hop into the ones that I have so far that I was writing down, I was jotting down. You've done tens of thousands of cleanings, I'm sure, as you know, Handy has. Um, what are the top five like hacks that Handy's learned from the cleaners over all these different cleanings they've performed? That's a really good question, Jim. Um, thinking off the top of my head, uh, you know, I mentioned it before. Hair is the biggest culprit in making sure that your listing is perceived as clean. Uh, you know, you could get every speck of dust, but if there's hair in the sink or there's hair on the bath mat. Uh, hosts or uh, guests are going to be a little bit grossed out, uh, and so what our what the cleaners on our platform really like to do is uh, they've they've given us some tips themselves as to how to get that hair up, uh, and what they tell us is that don't get the hair wet. Make sure you're not picking it up when you're mopping. Make sure you do it ahead of time because once hair gets wet, very difficult to get off the surface. Um, so typically, what they like to do is use a lint roller first. You know, so the lint roller that you'll use on your clothes. Grab one of those, roll it over the surface. Second, you know, if you have a Swiffer or a vacuum, kind of go after that and make sure everything else gets up. And then wipe down the surface, whether it's mopping or wiping with a cleaning solution. So I'd say tip number one, use a lint roller to get up the hair. Uh, tip number two, uh, you don't always have to use a duvet cover, but it's very important that you uh, make sure that your blanket is covered with a fresh sheet or linen. And there's a... Uh, a, I guess an approach called triple sheeting. Uh, hotels use this a lot. If you can't afford a duvet cover, you don't have a duvet cover, what you can do is take two flat sheets and put them on either side of the, du of the blanket or the duvet. You're essentially sandwiching the, the blanket or duvet in between two flat sheets and then tucking it into the bottom so that it stays nice and, and fitted. So, uh, you know, it's a money saver, it's a time saver, and it'll save you in a pinch if you don't have a duvet cover. Uh, you can check, you can just Google triple sheeting. It's basically, like I said, sandwiching a duvet cover in between two sheets. Uh, third, I'd have to say that a Swiffer 360 duster is your best weapon against dust and anything else in, the, in a listing. Yeah. Um, the cleaners use these quite often, and you can get through an entire listing or two with the same duster, so it's pretty cost effective and it saves you so much time. Uh, microfiber cloths are good, but the Swiffer 360 duster really does the trick. Mm -hmm. I'd say number four uh, is smell. So cleanliness is not just perceived visually, it's also how does a place smell? If a place is spick and span but smells horrible, then the guests aren't gonna give you a good cleanliness rating. So focus on smell. What the cleaners like to do is spray a little bit of Febreze right after, as they're done with the cleaning. And if you time this so that your guests are coming just a few hours later, that smell will linger. And it'll be a nice, refreshing uh, smell when they enter your listing. And I'd say number five is, again, cleaning is not just how physically clean a surface is, but how is the place uh, set up or staged or organized. So organization is also key. Um, you know, if your countertop is cluttered, things aren't going to look as clean. If your magazines are thrown all about, it's not going to look as clean. So if you can organize things uh, and stack magazines, place remotes neatly, that sort of thing, it's going to make your guests feel a lot like they're in a lot cleaner of a space. Yeah, I mean, the clutter really gets in the way, and it, and it can really put a damper on your home. You may have a beautiful place, but if there's stuff just strewn about or it doesn't make sense of why this is out for the guests, you know, it can really pull away, and like you said, it can affect your cleanliness rating. Um, so we had a question from a viewer yesterday, and I think you may have alluded to this already. And her name is Maureen, and she's in London, and she wanted to know, for cleanings, do you charge by the square foot of the rental unit, or is it done some other way? Is it done by bed and baths, or how do you, um, you know, scope out a place? I know it's hourly rate, but is there something, what if I have a very, very large place, and uh, there's not much cleaning to do for it, or how do you price your cleaning services? 
That's a good question. We've always toyed with putting square footage as a question in our booking flow, but oftentimes uh, hosts don't know it, uh, and it's really feeling it out. So we do suggest the duration for you, and we do charge by the hour. Like I said, in the US and Canada, it's $27 per hour. In London, it's 15 pounds per hour. Uh, and based on your beds and baths, we will determine uh, a recommended number of hours for you. I would say book a little bit extra on your first one. If it's your first cleaning and you want to get a more thorough clean, you know, book an extra hour. But what you'll see is as you use Handy often between your guest reservations, your place is getting cleaner and cleaner each time to the point where we're spending less and less time uh, turning over your listing. Yeah. Uh, and so take our hour recommendation. If you really think you need a deep clean, add an hour to it. And then moving forward, that clean will, cleaning will be lighter and lighter each time. And can you request, like, say, I, I you know, put notes in there that I do need a deep clean. It's, it's been, you know, X, Y, Z number of days type of thing. Is there, you can leave those type of notes, or I just need a quick clean, just you can zip through it in 30 minutes type of thing? Yes, absolutely. You can leave those notes for the pro, um, but you should also select the duration that you believe you'll need. Gotcha. If, if during the cleaning you need some extra time, if your cleaner can stay, they don't have another appointment uh, right up against this appointment, you can absolutely message them or they'll message you and you can uh, extend the hours directly within our product. Um, we do, however, have a two hour minimum, but typically we want to get make sure everything is getting thoroughly cleaned and when you're making beds and you're doing something uh, and you're making sure that the listing is uh, very clean, two hours is usually the minimum that you want to book anyways. That makes sense. Um, and so life happens, you know, there's no escaping that. So what are some ways to minimize headaches from cleaners that either do not show up or they're, uh, you know, they're, they're running late and it's coming, getting close to, you know, those exchange windows of check-ins and checkouts. You know, is there a communication portal in handy to make sure things run smoothly or how, how do you deal with that? That's a really great question and we're proud of the products that we've built to make that sure that that's seamless. So a couple of things. One, when you get a, a cleaner assigned to your booking, your numbers are masked, so you're not, your actual phone numbers stay private, but you get a direct link uh, and phone number to message each other on. Um, so this helps you communicate, uh, and you can message like, where are you, or you know, please arrive 15 minutes early, that sort of thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but also, we've built something called booking status, which we're very proud of. Um, just like you can see where your Uber driver is when they're arriving to your uh, pickup destination, 15 minutes before your booking starts, you can go into your app, you can go into the website, and you can look at that booking. And on that booking, we have a physical location of your pro within 15 minutes of that booking. So you'll see a map, and you'll see your pro moving on that map to your location. So this is very important for hosts who aren't in the same city where they, where they list, um, that their cleaner is there, that they're doing the cleaning, and that they know that their guests will arrive to uh, a clean listing. So, between the communication and the booking status, we really try to avoid any of those miscommunications, and the host can take the right action um, based on you know the activity that's happening. That's that's pretty cool. You can see like in real time, kind of like almost tracking your package. You know where where's my cleaner at? So that's pretty cool that you can track your your Handy Pro. Um, and you said the Handy is in a lot of the major metro areas in the USA and some places overseas. Are there any plans for expansion into new markets or? Um, what, what is the plans for Handy? If they're not in my area now, uh, is there any areas we can expect to see them pop up in? Sure, that's a good question too. Um, you know, over the past year, we expanded from 13 to 30 markets, and we're really proud that now we cover 50% of the U.S. population, uh, and we're really happy that we've gone international. There's a great host following in London. There's great uh, host activity in Vancouver and Toronto. Um, and you know we're growing rapidly, and we continue to grow that rapidly. I don't have a roadmap as to where we'll go next, but you'll just have to check back and, and see. If you go to handy.com slash host and you put in your zip for postal code, uh, check if we cover you there. If not, we'll let you know when we do. It's fantastic. That's great. Um, and with Handy, is there a way to track the quality of every cleaner that comes into your unit, and can you provide feedback? Like, say, the person that came, you didn't like a few things, or you really wanted to send a commendation for someone who did a, a stellar job cleaning your unit. Is there a way you can provide feedback about your pro? Absolutely. You absolutely can. Ratings are what drive the trust in our marketplace. We want customers to rate as often and as truthful as possible so that we're maintaining the quality of the supply on our platform. Um, when your booking is complete, you can not only rate your cleaner's quality, but you can relate your experience with the company. 
Um, did you have a good experience with customer service? Did you have a good experience with the website? That sort of thing. As well, did your cleaner do a good job? If your cleaner did not do a good job, you can uh, highlight the areas where they didn't. You can say, well, the four floors weren't clean, and you can leave actual feedback. If you rate a pro a three star below, we'll blacklist that pro from your account, so that pro will never be able to claim jobs for you again. If you really enjoyed your pro, you can rate them five stars and leave a nice comment, and that comment gets pushed back to the pro so that they can get your praise as well. Finally, if you um, like a pro and you'd like to use them again, you can request that pro uh, to come back for your cleaning. And if they, don't, if they don't have availability at that specific time, we have great product so that you can message back and forth or suggest different times to make sure that you guys can work together. That's great. It's good, yeah, to be able to share. You know, when, especially when things go well, you want to make sure the people that are doing the work get the commendation. You know, it's sometimes with the bigger companies, it doesn't trickle down, but it's very good that you provide that feedback directly to the pro that's uh, servicing your home. Yep, and uh, as an you know, an added benefit of requesting the same pro or pros each time is that they get to know your listing and your preferences, and each time they do it, it'll just be second nature to them. So we advise customers to request pros that they've liked before, so that they get the quality of service that they're looking for. Fantastic, that's fantastic. Uh, let me check to see if there's any questions coming in through the email, and then uh, if not, we can move on to the next step. Um, I'm not seeing any questions right now, but if there are any questions, you know, feel free, uh, viewers, to send those in. You know, even if you're watching a replay, we will get those answered by Kyle or um, our team as well. But again, I wanted to reiterate the uh, special offer that Kyle has um, for, for Handy.com for the Learn Airbnb viewers. It's uh, your, get your first two-hour cleaning for only $29. Visit Handy.com slash host and enter the code LEARN29. And it's a, it's a steal. I mean, it, you know, like you said, it's almost 50% off for getting your uh, first cleaning. And you get to test, almost test drive the platform out and see how well it works for your unit. Uh, and that's all I have right now. Um, check the questions one more time. I do not see anything else. So, again, Kyle, thank you very much for sharing all your information with us and all your little tips. Um, you know, it's always a pleasure to chat with you. And thank you again. Appreciate it. No problem, Jim. Thanks for having me. All right, everybody, have a great day. We'll talk soon.